All right, let's make a blog page in the free Astra theme using the query loop block in Gutenberg. You'll see I've already created a page that's going to contain all of my posts. I called it blog page. I'm going to edit that page. And in this blog page, I just did a cover image with an H1 that's nice and large. And then I want the query loop, all of the posts to appear below that. So I go ahead and I add the block query loop. First time I'm going to just use a pattern. So choose and you'll see you can choose from this list view or grid view. Um, let's say I chose this first one and I looked at it. It's giving me the list view. Uh, if I put, click the grid, it's going to show you the grid view of that and you can adjust the columns here for the query loop. If I don't really like that, I'm going to hit replace. Next, I'm going to choose the grid view. I'm going to choose the second one down. This one here. See what that looks like. This list view looks a little better. It's got two columns. It's got the featured image of the post and the post info here. So if we look a little deeper at how this is working, let's look at the list view. Here's my banner image. Here's the query loop block. Inside the query loop block is a block called post template. And post template is the thing that controls how each post looks. So you can see under post template, the first thing they have is two columns. And within column one, we have the post featured image. And within column two, we have post title, post excerpt. So these post blocks are special blocks that speak to the post template. So if I wanted to add the post date, which is another one that's available, I would insert before, um, and then I would search for the, the post blocks, find that post date, and it's going to put it in for the one, but it'll put it in for every single post because it's in that post template. If I wanted to adjust the order, I would just go ahead and, um, you know, shift it up. Now the post title appears first, then the date, and then the excerpt. So that's pretty much how the query block works. Um, if you want to do it from scratch, there's also that option. So below, uh, it's looking like this is not including pagination. So you can also include that in your um, query loop as well. So uh, if I insert after the query loop and I do another query loop, this time I'm going to start from blank. And then here you have some things to start with, say date, title, and excerpt. So we look at the list view again. And this query loop has a post template and a pagination. So you can add that to your other one uh, up above. It's just the pagination block below the post template block. So um, this one from the doesn't have the it just has title, date, and excerpt for each post. So if you wanted to add the featured image maybe below the title, you could insert right in there, start typing post, and get your uh, post featured image. And that's going to insert the image for every single one. So yeah, I mean, add pagination to this one here, right below it, insert after, pagination, block. And then we can uh, have that in our blog page as well. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this query loop. And now we have uh, an okay looking uh, blog page. I might want to, you know, put a space or something between the last post and the pagination, but uh, I did want to show you some other settings in the query loop. Um, it's saying uh, take your query from the template. If you get rid of that, you could uh, only focus on stickies 
or you could filter and only do a certain category by choosing taxonomy or you could only choose a certain author so if you're doing a category page that you wanted to link to you could use this as well to filter into a specific category okay so since this is the Astra free version this is the part that gets a little goofy because if I went ahead and set this as my blog page in Astra it's going to just stick in the template Astra code for the blog page for the index page so let's try that real quick if I go and I set this in Astra the usual way uh, this blog page I just created appearance customize and then I uh, behind my camera homepage settings posts page and I set blog page you'll see it didn't have my banner image at all it's using the Astra themed uh, blog layout and what I chose for the blog page was to have the sidebar included so that was in blog blog archive I chose to have it full width contained and sidebar um, if even if I chose no sidebar it's still not including my fancy query loop it's just including the Astra default thing so we can no longer use the Astra setting for the blog page so even though in WordPress and in the Astra theme I can set it to some blank thing or even just set it to blank I'm not even going to set it and then I'm going to just make it myself and refer to it in the header so what I would do is I would go to my header builder and anywhere you refer to your blog page right up here at the top and then I have this menu the menu that refers to my posts has a page within it so I'll edit the menu I'm not going to use this anymore I'm going to remove that I'm going to add an item I'm gonna call it uh, just uh, I guess I'll just use the page that I made so add an, this one right here blog page and then uh, you could call it posts or whatever but I had to add that page manually and now whenever I'm referring to my blog page I have to refer to this and not um, the Astra thing so now when I'm navigating and I'm, I'm visiting my site anytime oh I got the transparent header so you can't you might not be able to see it but up here in the menu we got posts you click it and it's pulling up that blog page with that query loop that's kinda how you get around doing the uh, free Astra theme because if you had the paid Astra Pro you do get different blog layouts but if you're just using the free Astra you can't adjust the blog layout so if you make it yourself you just kind of have to um, ignore the the blog page in the uh, customizer and just refer to it in your header as such so if you if you go to you know blog page uh, blog and then uh, behind my camera there's Astra Pro features and if you go to that site you see you get blog layouts they allow it for um, Astra Pro so that's how they get you to upgrade to that or you can just ignore it and just refer to it in the header alright that's it for this video I hope you found it helpful I'll see you next time